Alright, what's good YouTube? Gentlemen, Thomas here back with another video on the channel and today we have an NPPA week 19 build up before the match. Today we the Copenhagen Galates are going up against the San Francisco 40 Grimers, coached by Jace. And I just want to say, Jace, if you do watch this, first of all, I love the name. I think the name is very, very cool, but also the logo is just crisp. It's so I love this logo so much. Just a bunch of different color grimers just running around. It's it's so funny. And I'm, I think he's made it himself. I know he's made like graphics before because he did actually make the old uh, WBF graphic that I used at one point and, and they, they were very good and this logo is very good. I, I think he might have done, I don't know. Um, if I remember and if Jace has one and I ask him of course, uh, I will link a portfolio or something down in the description below if he has something I can link. If not, um, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, um, this is going to be our first time playing against Jace though, I am pretty sure. And his team consists of Landers Incarnate, Witch Sheer Force, Mega Scissor, Rotom Wash, Galarian Weezing, Weavile, Milton, Gudra, Mesprit, Stunfisk, Blaziken, and Quilladin. So this is an incredibly scary team. Um, we can kind of deal with Landers a little bit, like Electros is pretty good against it. I could see maybe bring Gravity Landers, like it's not completely out of the question, like three moves Gravity. Uh, Mega Scissor, if he runs an offensive sword stance set, I might just lose. Like, I, I actually can. Like, it's, I looked at it and we don't counter each other's scissors that well. <laughs> we, we just don't. Um, I also have a game plan with my scissors, as so well. We are playing scissor plus scissor is our kill leader for this league. It has 12 kills uh, currently and it can go for first if we get a lot of kills. So, I might have built a little bit with that in mind, hoping I get some kills with scissor, but yeah. Um, his Mega Scissor we don't deal with very well. well. We need to whittle down the Rotom. And if he brings Blaziken, I kind of need to kill that thing before I can win with, with the Scissor. I can't win with Bla if Blaziken is still there. Other than that, I actually do think we can control his team somewhat decently. Now, because I'm not bringing a defensive Scissor, that does make Weavile a little bit more scary to go against. We do have Tabu of Fini, but the problem is I'm thinking, I'm, I think he's going to run like Poison Jab. Like, he might forego the Ice Shot because he doesn't... Well, okay, no, I don't think he's foregoing the eye shot actually, because if he if he did if he does, that means Mega Sceptile is all of a sudden really good. Because um, without the eye shot, Mega Sceptile is actually pretty decent against his team. Um, his best answer would be like a said be the Sissa, but the Sissa would then have to play a lot of roles, so I don't know about that. Um, but I don't know exactly. The Weaver could just be like four attacks, like eye shot, knock off, triple like some poison jab with a, like a choice bandit. That that's something I will see. Um, I think Gudra is going to come for death, like an AV for Darkrai. I definitely think that's a good possibility. Maybe the Galarian Weezing. But we have moves to hit that with. And um, I think Bla Blaziken might come with like a setup or maybe Mesprit with like some stealth rocks. Like I think a lot of his team could come. I don't see a Quilletin coming, but if it comes, it comes. Like it's not a bad Mon per se, but I don't think it's that good in this matchup. And Stunfisk, a little bit of the same. I don't think Stunfisk is the greatest in, the mat in this matchup. We do have like Palosan and Electros, which are typically pretty good against the Stunfisk, but it can still be like really annoying with like Discharge, Stealth Rock, Toxic, stuff like that. So overall, I think he can bring most of his team, but we definitely have like the, you know, the three at top, Lando, Scissor, Rotom. I think Revile is definitely coming. I think the last two spots can be a little bit of whatever. And I guess with that, let's head into our own team. So, first on our, our team this week, as always, we of course have Pride, the Dark Rabbit, Black Glasses, Bad Dream, Psychic, Ice Beam, Incinerate, Dark Pulse, 72 in HP, 2v2 in Special Psychic, 184 in speed with a modest nature. So, as you can see here, I'm literally ignoring the speed uh, tie with Revile. I don't wanna, like, I don't wanna stake it on a speed tie, a speed tie. I would rather see if we can play around it. Plus, we have the, um, What's it called? Priority in Bullet Punch with Alcesa, so I don't need to be able to outspeed the Weavile to kill it. And we outspeed everything else that's not the Weavile, so that's why we're going with the Modest. Do as much damage as possible. A Dark Pulse into either Psychic or Incinerate should kill most of the two bulky Spadef mods I can see him bringing in Scissor and Weezing. Should he bring the Gudra, we also have the Ice Beam, but if it's AB Gudra, there's no way we're killing Dark Pulse into Ice Beam, there's just no way. And even then, I think with Black Glasses, I think the Scissor might be able to take Dark Pulse into Incinerate. We would have to like check how much we do and see if it's within range or whatnot. We do live one like Bullet Punch Max Adamant if he's Adamant, so we can even like scout that a little bit to see what it is. But all about Dark Cries. <coughs> sorry, sorry. This is, by the way, I should mention this is like 5 a.m. in the morning. I'm recording this right before we play. And. 
it's like we couldn't really figure out the schedule i was up because i've been doing stuff throughout the night i've been doing different stuff when so i was also like you know what let's just play let's just get it over with so if i'm a little bit, if i seem a little bit tired it's because i am but yeah um next up on our team this week i think i can just go next now is the kids under the death Fox of power magician side shock fire blast solo beam and coal mine 20 point hp 22 in special second 232 in speed with a timinasia allows us to outspeed the landers and everything below you know the drill uh, we of course won't be staying in in a wee while anyway. I could have ran Cobbleberry with like um, some move to hit it with, but I feel like this is, well, some move to hit it with, a fire move to hit it with, uh, but I feel like this variant is a little bit better because uh, outside of Rotom, he actually doesn't swap into this very well because Psyshock hit the, hits the Gudra on the physical side. Fire Blast nukes so much of his team. Um, the Milk Tank could be a little bit of an issue, but that's where a Combine comes in. We can potentially set up one or two Combines and then kill it. Yeah, we might get Toxic. We might get, he might run EQ actually, but I don't know. I definitely do think that Delphox can be good at helping breaking down his walls this time around, especially the Rotom. If you can set up like a, um, if you can hit like a Psy Shock into a Solo Beam, I don't think we kill if he's max um, speed death, but we definitely do so much damage that uh, Scizor can just win the rest of the game after that, because then it would probably die either to Bullet Punch or if he's very defensive Rotom, I have um, Spec Crib our Scizor, by the way, we bring Scizor, I did mention that, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, I did Speed Crib our Scizor to outspeed the Rotom, so yeah. Next up, we have Lushed, the type of green, Rocky Helm, Misty Search with Surf, Draining Kiss, Nature's Madness, and Taunt, 248 in HP, 220 in uh, defense, and 40 in speed with a bold nature. So the 40 in speed is just a speed creep if he wants to shine out Pacers with like the Gudra, the Mesh Spread, the Mega Scissor specifically. We have Surf, Draining Kiss, and Nature's Madness. Surf just because it's good overall stabs. Draining Kiss because we don't have the leftovers, I want to get the health back. And I have Nature's Madness to just be guaranteed doing half. I feel, feel like that's going to be really good in this matchup. Guaranteed doing half to like the scissor. I know the scissor can then roost, but that means that means we at least get the safe swap, which I'm pretty happy about. And uh, I have taunt in case I can figure out it's a defensive scissor. I can potentially taunt on it and uh, it can roost. It can do a whole lot to Feeny. Like a bullet punch still hurts a little bit if it's max attack adamant, but I feel like this is a good way to sort of succumb some of his. Um, healing mons a little bit and this is just our main weavile counter if i didn't make that clear already now our weavile killer if you want to call that but also the win count this week is going to be raft the scissor with leftovers technician bullet punch dual wing with roost and sword stance 72 in hp 2 in the head attack 184 in speed so as i mentioned this outpaces a it outpaces defensive rotom <laughs> by like a little <laughs> by the oh, i'm so sorry i'm so sorry my, my throat is very dry because I streamed earlier. By the way, I stream now. So if you haven't, uh, go check it out at twitch.tv slash gentleman Thomas. Yes, I do stream from time to time. I'm currently doing a soul link with one of my very good friends, Rosewood God. So yeah, um, as I mentioned, I did speed creep this uh, scissor for um, for the road. I'm a little bit above what it would typically be at if it's like defensive. Just because I want to be able to make sure I can outspeed it. I don't think we outspeed the melt tank, but plus six or plus four or something like that. We still like... Guaranteed kill the milk tank. Like, not guaranteed kill, but we win the one we want almost no matter what. The milk tank can do a whole lot. It might, if he runs fire punches, and he runs fire punches. I mean, that's, that is what it is, you know. But yeah. Win con says that with Roost and Salt Stance. Roost is just so we can potentially Roost on something. If I were to take a move up, it probably would be Roost for like a Buck Bite or something. That just when we hit harder on like the milk tank and stuff and uh, hit neutral for the Rotom. But that is why two of our other mods are like focused on uh, some of our mods focus on whittling down the Rotom because it means we can then beat it with a uh, scissor. And next up we have El Nul, the Electros with Solvest, Levitate, U-Turn, Aquatel, Thunderbolt, and Flamethrower. 248 in HP. 28 in defense, 232 in speed. If I was about to say special segment, no, that was in defense. Um, as I mentioned, Landers counter. I know Landers get knocks, gets knock off. It is what it is. I can't do much about it. That is also why I chose Electros, and that's why I made it as Spadef as I as I did. Because if it didn't run knock off, I probably would have a little bit more like offensive presence to to make sure I can hit uh, like harder than, than what I can right now. But this way it's just overall better i feel like the main issue is we don't hit the rotom that hard i thought about running giga drain but the uh, giga drain doesn't do that much more than the um thunderbolt would would so that's why we're just doing this maybe i could run drain punch for like no tank but honestly this is just oh i can run knock off for like the utilities that could also be pretty good because uh, thunderbolt is not that needed his um water type doesn't isn't weak to it so maybe being maybe knock off maybe i've changed it to knock off in the next like two minutes we'll see we'll see but yeah landers um kind of i feel like it's self-explanatory and last on a week we are actually going to bring our gluttony the more while we left those intimidated fire blast yeah you heard that correct fire blast and had taunt and stuff like 248 in hp 244 in defense and 16 special attack 
yeah, if he brings offensive Mega Caesar, I can't do much about it. It's gonna be scary. I want you to know plus six offensive Caesar, Oko's Delphox. With a bullet punch. Like, there's nothing you can do about it. So that's why I'm bringing this Intimidate to Intimidate down. Fire Blast with the 16... Fire Blast with a non, like a non-lowering special attack nature and the 16 guaranteed so we two hit KOs it. So even if he tries to roost, as long as we hit the Fire Blast, we should be able to keep it down at least. Now, the main issue with that would then be maybe it doesn't need to be healthy, but you know it is what it is. And we have Iron Head to hit like Weavile, Weezing, Guta, like it's the best neutral hit. If you bring Stunfisk, that's an issue. We cannot, uh, we cannot touch the Rotom. But uh, it is what it is. Actually, you know what? I'm going to change this taunt to toxic now that I realized that because that means I can toxic the Rotom. And while a slow taunt against the Sizzle would be pretty nice, I probably will just click Fire Blast on it most of the time anyway. But yeah, that's the team this week. As always, if you like the video so far, if if you like the video so far, make sure to leave a like on the video. Leave a comment down below for the team builder and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And with that, I will head into the battle. So peace, YouTube. All right, what's good, YouTube? Gentlemen, Thomas here, and welcome to NBPA Week 9 Battle. We are going up against the San Francisco 40 Grimers, right? Yeah, that's how it's pronounced. Yep. Uh, coached by Jace, and he brought the Landers, the Mega Sensor, the Weaver, the Rotom Wash, the Blazing in the match. So he went a little bit more offensive, like no Gudra, no Mill Tank, no Weezing. So it's, definitely, it's definitely more offensive than I thought it was going to be. Um, Lead. What's his lead? Uh, okay, wait, I, I just had to answer my opponent real quick, um, but he'll wash, maybe? I, th I feel like he's leading wash. I, get in I, guess I kind of want to do Electros, but I also don't want to get Electros, like, toxic or anything. Can you lead? Can I lead Darkrai? I might be able to lead Darkrai, honestly. Uh, if he leads Blaziken, I definitely have to watch out for the potential Scarf. I don't want to lead Darkrai, because any chip I can get on Rotom is just perfect. Leads. Oh, okay. Perfect. I mean, I'll, I'll goddamn take this. I don't think it gets... <laughs> I don't think it gets anything that can, like, kill me in one hit. Right? <laughs> also, it, mind if I cough, right? Because my it's just my throat, throat is very dry. Like, I've been talking, like, the entire day, and it's, like, late night when whatnot. So it, that's that's like just the reason. He lives. Oh, the U turn does forty four percent. Oh yeah, no, that is, okay. So he's ma he's like max jolly. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna assume that the church got plays again. I mean, I'm gonna go Fini, and I just think that's the what makes the most sense right now. Yeah, so U turns, take a bit of chip damage. I guess the, the hot, rocky helmet chip. But like he can, he can read that. Yeah, so he can read that's uh, physically defensive for like Weaver and what. And it also works for Blaze again. So I'm actually pretty happy with this. Uh, this thing, this thing is kind of annoying because um, <laughs> I don't swap the will against it online. Do I mind taking the- oh wait, I'm not on Fini, I was like, do I mind yeah, oh, it does 40%! Ugh, I almost have to go Electros, right? But even then, I don't know what to do, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I don't- I don't play well against this Rotom, like, my team- my team- If I had- if I brought Scepter, Scepter would have been amazing for this thing! Because it's literally- well, when it's Mega Evolved, because he can't Wall Switch, <laughs> and we- we four times for the Water Stab, so that would have been amazing. Yeah, he can't Toxic, so I guess I go Electros here, right? That is always the answer, like, Wall Switch doesn't do a lot. He goes probably Weavile on this, which is very annoying. Yeah, he Wall Switches, like, I- I, I can't do much about it, like, I knew he was gonna do it. He's life all holy, okay. And he did a left. Okay, so he's offensive Rotom, okay. Uh, that might be bad, actually. Because that probably means he outspeeds our... <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. That probably means he outspeeds our... What's it called? <laughs> like... Wait, I hope I got it out of my system there. Holy... But yeah, that probably means he outspeeds our um, Scissor because he's offensive. He could, he could be bulky max, max attack, that could very well be a thing as well. 
Uh, 11, so 11.5, <laughs> yeah, so that's just max timid, I think. Uh, okay, so here's the bugger I hate. <laughs> oh, okay, no, I don't hate him. Honestly, do I go mobile? Not helmet on this, unfortunately. <sighs> uh, we can intimidate it, yeah, so that's pretty nice. I think going mobile. <laughs> I think going mobile might be decent here. I don't think he has any. Like, I wouldn't imagine he has anything for mobile. And I can kind of learn what he is. If he knocks off with the lift, though, that's a little bit annoying, but I think it's fine. Yeah, Jesus, this thing, this thing is so annoying. <laughs> like, I, I definitely. <clears throat> sorry, sorry. Definitely do think he... I think there's a higher chance he's banded than he's set up. I feel like banded is so much better against me. Um, Feeny, I kind of want to keep Feeny's item. The helmet is really good to put shipping the blaze again. Yeah, I'm going to go more on this, I think. Beat up, okay. <laughs> um, That's interesting. I didn't expect that. I want a toxic on the incoming road. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that's what probably was what, what I'm gonna. I think that's what I'm gonna do, right? <clears throat> I, I he yeah. he could do. So beat up is interesting. Can I? How the, how the hell is beat up calc? Why wow, the calc the, the calc doesn't even have it? So it's base. All hell the allies eight damage. <laughs> how the fuck does it? How does it work? So you did four, four, then you did two, then three, then four, three, so that's four, four, eight. Oh god, I have to do it in English, wait. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, nineteen, about twenty-one, tw twenty-two damage. Yeah, twenty twenty-two, I think. Twenty-two damage. So is it like base ten? I don't know what the what's the base? I think it's like Yeah, so it's a I think it's 120. If he's like, has all hell, all allies healthy still, right? He goes Lando. Wow, I missed. Okay. Well, that's really annoying. Okay, I mean, I have to go like Charles. It's it's annoying, right? It's really really annoying really, because really, really, if we get if we get gravity right here, that's really really bad. Like I think I'm losing like a mon. But, yeah, and then if we click, actually no, I did. I think I actually did. Do some calc that if I lose levitate, I still take the hit. Like with, with the AV, 100% do. Uh, yeah, with the AV, 100% do without the AV. But if you, it, like, yeah, you, you you get it. He has to if he has to click knock off, then we lose the AV. Or he has to click um, what's it called? <clears throat> Gravity. But then we still have the AV and can hit him. Yeah, he two shots us. So, <clears throat> I my, my throat is so dry. Oh, he just went for it. Okay. I'll take that every day of the week. What the hell? I mean, I think I click U turn here always. Like, even if he stays in and knocks me off, it does a lot of damage. Don't get me wrong, but I still think, I still think I'd do it just because I get momentum. And um, problem is, if he goes Rotom, I don't know what to go into. Yeah, actually, if he goes, if he goes Rotom, I just don't, do not know what to go into. That Rotom is really annoying. Yeah, I don't have squat all the road. Like I have a plan if I if I'm ahead, if that makes sense. Uh, actually, if, if I do calc, then he's an like offensive Rotom, right? If I calc, he's an offensive Rotom. Life old. I can maybe be a little cheeky. Call mine in in his face, right? Yeah, I might do that. Oh wait, oh no, offensive Rotom can st after plus one speed death, it can still kill. But why? Jesus, okay. Yeah, Rotom Wash, okay, I, th I figured. I mean, we keep the momentum. The problem is, Dark Ride does not. Dark Ride does 50 to 59, and the Hydro Pump just kills. Fuck this thing. This thing is a problem. I don't know. I feel like going Delphox is just televising way too much, right? You would, ha you would have to think something, right? <clears throat> The thing is, Delphox is really good with the with the team he brought. Delphox is really fucking good if you were like a flame shot set, like it, it could easily win. 
I want to go Delphax and just click the uh, solo beam because like it's like it's gonna hit. Uh, actually, he would prob he would probably sack the Mesprit to scout. I think that's like that makes sense, right? To, to scout with Mesprit. This thing is uh, he. I think he went like full offense. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think he went like full offense with his team, if I'm being honest. Because even the Mesh, I think, was Max Jolly. It looks like with the U-turn. I'm like, what the fuck do I do? I, I guess I can mobile and click... No, Wall Switch would do so much that we don't stand a chance against SZA. I like, I like, cannot let that happen. Yeah, wow, offensive Rotom is really good because it didn't bring Sceptile. I fucking wish I brought Sceptile. I, I get why he... I think I'm going Delphox. <clears throat> um, I can fire off the solo beam and just, you know, hope and pray. You know, that is my best answer. As hope and pray stays in. I would sack the Meshbird in this scenario, I think, always. I don't think it's even a question of discretion. I would always um, sack the Meshbird. It's at fucking 6% health. I don't see a reason why you would not sack the Meshbird here. I can go for a side shark thinking he's gonna swap. And if I do, he's within range of Darkrai, which makes it a little bit better. Because, like, as much as I like Delphox, uh, actually, Darkrai is low, so Sissa is starting to get scary. I can do I want a side shark. I think I actually want a side shark predicting Mesprit to come in. Just from hope he's not. I hope, he, I hope he switches. Like, I, I would sack the Minister to scout what it is, right? I feel like this just makes sense, right? I guess you could predict maybe I'm Specs. The Specs Psychic, would it kill? Specs Psychic has a chance. If I'm modest, it would. If I was modest Specs, which I cannot see, I could not see myself bring modest Specs, you know? Because <laughs> then I won't outspeed the um, Landorus, but you know, it is what it is. I want to click power, but I really don't want to waste it on the. Damn miss, but I'm just clicking it. Oh, please. Okay, stay in. Woo! Woo! Okay, we take that. We take those. We take those. <laughs> we absolutely take those. Um. Okay, on the Weavile, I go Feeny. If he's gonna beat up, I mean, sure. Okay, so I'm assuming beat up is 20 per uh, living... Pokemon, right? So it would be a base 100 right now. Which against Tabu Fini. Uh, beat up. Base 100, basically. Okay, so Triple Axe will actually do a little bit more at the moment, I think. Yeah. I'm so glad he didn't swap the goddamn misprint. I would have been miserable had he done that. But, like, I needed to get rid of the Rotom. That was a big issue. Okay, I went to Gluttony last. Um, I definitely think I'm going Fini this time. Just, if he knocks off, he knocks off. It is what it is. He goes, like, I'm fine with that, actually. I, th I think I'm completely fine with that. He, he definitely he definitely expected my um, my more while there. Uh, Fini... Fine, like, I'll take the goddamn damage. I will take this damage. Do I Nature's Madness for the guarantee? I think I'm a Nature's Madness for the guaranteed um, 50, right? Like, even if you two hit KOs me, that's fine. We, we will take that. We'll take that. Um, Because, because even let's say he's off. Like, the way he's playing, I think he is offensive Sissa as well. Yeah, Nature's Madness is just better. Like, at, at all times. Uh, I guess, actually, maybe this is where you sack the Mesprit, which I'm still like, how? why have you not sacked the Mesprit yet? Yet. Like, I, I want to click Surf, don't get me wrong, I want to click Surf, because, you know, it's, it's a lander, it's like, I want to kill this thing, like, so bad. It does take one, but I'm gonna need just Madness, I think. If he goes Mesprit, I, you know, I'll probably actually end up taking a hit, because I, I feel like this is, like, a, a fast, um... Actually, do we... Yeah, no, we Surf, we Surf in case of the Mesprit, uh, we Surf in case, yeah, we Surf in case of Mesprit. Uh, if he goes Sissa, I just... Oh, hope and goddamn pray I don't lose. <laughs> like if you go Sis, I just hope and pray I don't lose at that at that very moment. 
Um, I think what I would do. Oh, he you makes sense, makes sense. Oh, sorry, you turn. Oh, well, it makes sense, makes sense. You know, he knows I'm Rocky Helmet, so you know he helps me. Yeah, he sacks the spirit. I thought so. So that's why I didn't want to click Nature's Madness, you know. Okay, you have. Well, from what I could gather, I don't think he's banded, right? Oh god, I I am literally looking up beat up so I can figure out what this uh, what this thing is, right? Beat up. Does anything says so, um, the user depend? <coughs> Pokemon. What is beat up? Power. Like I, I am literally looking this up. Oh, it's a base power of ten. Did I read that correctly? Generation five hundred. Instead of using each pattern, the text that uses it's right. Because of this beat up, is not fake, but. Boost like source and argument should be infirm. Base power per shy is no longer 10, but instead immediately based on the attack base stat of the party Pokemon. Okay. So it's just impossible to calc, is what I'm reading, right? <laughs> I think that's what I'm reading. Okay, let's assume he's banded then. Feeny is here for this. It also helps with Blaziken. Do I lose the Blaziken if I don't keep Feeny? I think I do. If I don't keep Feeny. I'm gonna Draining Kiss. He goes Lander. Wow, I don't... Okay, I mean... Arigato for the health, I guess. I, I don't really get the whole sending in Weave. I guess he's, it's because he has really big trouble beating... Um, Beanie right now, I suppose. I think this time I'll click Nature's Ma- uh, actually... How much does a Sludge Wave do to me? I don't die. <laughs> That's like the most important thing, I don't die. He does die to Surf right now. Do I take this hit? Oh, that's annoying. I think I, I, think I, click, I, think I click Surf in order to try and... Potentially kills this thing. Sisa is still the main issue right now, but Beanie is not the Sisa counter. It could be. Like, it could because of Taunt and Nature's Madness, it could be. See Earth powers, you do. Oh, you got a crit? You are oh, really? That was. That was kind of bad. Online, that was bad. Yeah, that was kind of bad. I won't lie. That was it, it getting to. I think I'm gonna stay in a sword stance and I'll have to deal with Blaziken some other way. Um, I think I think I just have to. If he's max attack adamant with. Okay, we take a bullet punch. I think it's better to uh, actually put Nature's Madness and then more while. No, I'm taunting. I'm taunting. I'm not leaving this set. Yeah, okay, we do outspeed it. That's really nice. It cancel stance is perfect. We do outspeed this. I think at this point it's better to just Nature's Madness get the um. So, so it's bulky. It's bulky scissor. Okay, it's perfect. I'm Nature's Nature's Madness. Madness. Madden. Nature's Madden. Bug bite, he takes Ruggy Helmet, that's... Oh, that's so nice. Actually, if he's not that offensive, we surf here. Uh, we died to Bullet Punch, actually. <laughs> Never mind. I think that's just the play, right? Yeah, but sack to Bullet Punch, go... Dill Fox? I need something that outpaces, basically. Max Adamant, uh, Darkrai does not die. He does 52% max, we should not die. And I can click Dark Pulse. Pretty freely. I don't need Dark Rifle out of the two because I think it's Scarf and Revive we don't beat anyway. So I'm clicking I'm going Dark Pulse preserving health on the other mods, I think. Yeah. That's just the overall better play here. Like it's the best way to just preserve as much as possible. So he goes plays again, that's fine. Uh, we sack him. Yes, he flare blitz, okay. 
be I, he, I'm still assuming I'm assuming scarf plays again Triscoff. Right, flare blitz to dove. See this thing. This thing might still win. That's the issue. This thing might very well still win. Like he's saying, GG. I don't have a way. I don't think I can beat the Blaziken. Is the issue. I don't think I beat the Blaziken. I have to go Electros and click Aqua Tail. I think that's my best way because the, if he stays in the Exile Blitz ship, he takes makes it so we kill. Yeah, no, that's that's my win. And if he goes Weavile, we get really good damage on the Weavile, and I'm pretty happy about that. Main issue is still, I do not think I can defeat. I don't think I can defeat the problem. Like, it's really, really bad, right? Because the Blaziken is so fucking annoying. Blaziken. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm clicking, I'm clicking Akuta. If he swaps, he swaps. It is what it is. I just have to deal with it. Uh, I think, I, I, as I mentioned, I think this is actually Bandit Weavile. <laughs> he has beat up. I don't think he has Wishing Jab at that point. Yeah. yeah ow, ow. That was a lot. Okay, thank you. Okay, so how you turn? Um, if he's set up, it is what it is. We have, we have Scissor, we have Scissor, we have Scissor. It, does, it, doesn't, it literally doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. Use your Scissor. Be Bullet. GG. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we got a nice win. That actually means we end the season on two wins, which is really, really good for us. I don't know if. I don't know if it makes us to playoff. Like, we have. Like, I think we're four and five with like plus seven now. Because, no, plus uh, six. Because I think I was plus three. I don't know. I don't think that's enough, um, unfortunately, but we, we'll see. We'll be like right on the cusp. But as always, if you like the video, make sure to leave a like on the video. Leave a comment down below what you thought of the battle. And subscribe to the channel for future videos. With that, I will head out. So peace, YouTube.